What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, as you guys have all seen, after the maintenance when everyone went online, there was a Sugarfest banner waiting for us being the brand new Sanji Legend and Gear 4 6 Star Plus character Sugarfest. Now this is a specific Sugarfest that I know a lot of people have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. And I've been saying on my streams and just to other people that I didn't really think the Gear 4 was going to be a guaranteed unit. Just the way that they've been treating Global and the way that the Korean version of the game didn't have the guaranteed Gear 4 either. It just made me think that I really don't think that, you know, we're going to be getting Gear 4 as a guaranteed 6 star character during a Sugarfest. Fest, and I was definitely shown that I was incorrect because on the sixth multi of this Sugo Fest, you will get gear four just guaranteed that he will be the guaranteed 11th pull on this Sugo Fest when you do the sixth multi. Uh, just another information about this Sugo Fest as well is that this information, uh, th this Sugo Fest will be a four star or higher Sugo Fest. So every unit you pull will be a gold poster. Uh, I believe on the second multi that you do, you can get a guaranteed six star character. There is a separate pool of legends that you will get on the second multi pool. They are mainly consisting of the older legends. So it's nothing too crazy but you can pull Sanji on the second multi pull on that guaranteed legend pool which is quite nice the third multi will be a guaranteed red poster the fourth and seventh multi pulls in particular will have two times legend rates then on the ninth multi pool you will be guaranteed to get either Zoro Usopp or Sanji as your red poster character. So, depending on how many gems you have saved, this is definitely going to be a Sugo Fest that a lot of people have been looking forward to. Me, personally, I'm not actually going to be pulling. I am waiting for Lucy or Judge, because those two are the next scheduled six-star characters. And those two in particular, Judge and Lucy, are by far the best legends in the game on Japan. So, if you guys pull Lucy or Judge, you know, with their specific units, then you're going to have a, a very, very easy time with the upcoming content. Um, so I am personally waiting for those Sugo Fest in particular, but this is still a really, really nice Sugo Fest. Gold only, two times legend rates on certain uh, multi pulls. Also, you can get a guaranteed red on the second, third, sixth, and ninth multi pull. And on that sixth one, you do get the guaranteed Gear Four character. So if you are missing Time Skip Luffy or Gear Four, then this is going to be the best time to go ahead and get them. Guaranteed, and when you do pull the gear four, he does come at max special level. I do believe that the next Fortnite will actually have their skill books anyway, but anyways, you will still be able to go ahead and farm for these guys' skill um, when that comes out. But you can pull him at max skill on this Sugo Fest, so that is quite awesome. But in this video in particular, we're going to be going through gear four and also Sanji, so you guys can know what their abilities are and how you can use them effectively in One Piece Treasure Cruise. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So the first unit that we're going to be discussing is going to be the 6 star legend Sanji Vinsmoke. So Sanji is an int fighter powerhouse type character and a max level at level 99. He has 3,233 health, 1,506 attack and 354 recovery. He has 55 cost and 5 socket spots. Great thing about this Sanji is that because he is Sanji, he is reasonably easy to socket uh, compared to some of the other legends in the game, which is quite nice. Uh, now let's go ahead and move on to his abilities being the most important part of this character. So, his captain ability is going to boost the attack of all characters by 2.5 times and the HP by 1.3 times, but this Sanji introduces a brand new mechanic that literally no other character in the game has access to, even on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise thus far. And that is this thing called a Captain Action. So the way that you activate this Captain Action is normally to activate a special ability, you'd have to hold and swipe up on a character. But when this character is your Captain, you can hold and swipe down and it will activate the Captain Action, which is the Skywalk ability. So what this does is it will allow Sanji you to fly up into the air when that turn you activate the captain action occurs you cannot attack with Sanji for that turn but what will happen is is when you follow on to the next turn you can then attack with Sanji but the great ability of this is that when you jump up into the air and like move on to another room or you wait another turn then Sanji will be able to dodge the enemy debuffs that will be inflicted onto Sanji, whether it be blowing away the captain, or chaining the captain, or despairing the captain, or blocking the captain's orb, or something like that. 
he can completely dodge that while he is in the air. Also, when he is in the air on that turn, uh, after that, he will give himself a 25 times attack boost. So with this guy as your captain and you activate the Skywalk ability, he gives himself a 6.25 times attack boost while he is in the air. And then uh, on that turn, when he gives himself that boost, then you can go ahead and attack and he does lots and lots of damage. So as a captain, he's a very, very solid unit, but he only boosts the crew by 2.5 times. So you know, take it as you will, it's not a very high boosting, you know, captain ability, but he does give a small HP boost, a 1.3 boost, which is quite nice. But overall, he's really not the greatest legend in the game, captain-wise, but just that ability to just dodge debuffs can make some specific fights very, very easy. Moving on from that, let's talk about this guy's special ability. So his special ability will start at 19 turns and it maxes at 14 turns. And what it does is it does 100,000 fixed damage to all enemies, which is still really good just right, just like that. That's a great, great ability, really nice for wave clearing. But on top of that, it changes block, tandem, adjacent, and his own orb into matching orbs, and then will boost his own attack by two times for one turn. So this special ability is definitely centered around Sanji himself, especially like his captain ability. His captain ability is very self-centered. He likes to boost himself, very similar to Cavendish, but this guy does way more damage than Cavendish. So when you activate the Skywalk ability and you use his special ability, he gives himself just a crazy, crazy boost, and he can just decimate Psy bosses very easily. And this guy is perfect against the raid Fujitora, who also did get released when Sanji was released out on Japan. So uh, they do like to coincide this release together. Sanji, if you do pull him, does make raid Fujitora much, much easier to farm. Uh, just being able to dodge, being blown away. And then he boosts himself and he does so much damage against Fujitora. You're not going to have any issues against that fight whatsoever. But on top of that, if you do not want to use him as a captain, he does have a very, very good sailor ability, which makes recovery orbs beneficial to all characters very very good sailor ability uh actually the raid sanji that comes out a little bit later on on global has this specific sailor ability as well but you have to limit break him to get that specific sailor ability this is a very good sailor ability especially if you are going to be using him on a powerhouse related team or a fighter team or even just an int team just all around this is a very very good sailor ability uh all of those guys that do have those matching orb sailor abilities like uh, dex conjuro the rare group pedro as well all those guys that make certain orbs beneficial to your crew are going to be very, very nice to have, especially if you are going to use this guy on a powerhouse team with perhaps 6 plus Luchi as a captain. Uh, this is going to be very, very good for those types of teams. Now let's talk about the unit that a lot of people are going to be pulling for, which is going to be Monkey D. Luffy Gear 4th Bounce Man or Bound Man. Bound Man is the Japanese name and Bounce Man is the English name, so it is what it is. It's the same thing. So Gear 4 Luffy is the unit that is going to be guaranteed on the 6th multiple 11th poster. Now this guy here is a Psy Fighter Free Spirit type character and at max level at level 99, he has 3,380 health, 1,600 attack and 400 recovery so some solid stats right there all around the board his cost is 65 like all of the six star pluses and he has five socket spots his captain ability will boost the attack of fighter characters by 2.5 times then if you use king kong gun he will boost the attack of fighter characters by four times instead for the next three turns and also reduce damage by 56 percent for the next three turns so this is a I wouldn't say it's an upgrade, I'd say it's just a slight variation of Time Skip Luffy because obviously this is the 6 star plus 4 Time Skip Luffy. So if you do own Time Skip Luffy, you can go ahead and super evolve your Luffy into this Gear 4 Luffy. Just does depend on what type of teams you want to run. Uh, and to do that super evolution, you actually need two skulls from the invasions to do it you need the yellow one and you need the blue one so just for you guys out there that need to know that you actually need both of the colored skulls in order to super evolve this specific unit which is a little bit annoying because if you only have one luffy and you want to interchange between them you actually need two skulls to do it so it's really really annoying but Gear 4 Luffy is quite nice. He is basically the exact same as Time Skip Luffy, but for fighter team. So it is a little bit different there. Uh, and the, the thing here is, is that Gear 4 does not have constant passive damage re reduction. He only gets the damage reduction of 56%, which is very significant. He only gets that when you activate his own special ability. So when you activate his special ability, he actually goes from regular Luffy and he transforms into Gear 4 Luffy. And that is when the damage reduction will occur. 
So, that's that. But what is that actual special ability that gets used in order to boost the captain ability? So, his special ability has the same cooldowns as the regular time skip Luffy, starting at 18 and maxing at 13, and it does 200 times this character's attack in typeless damage to one enemy. That is so much damage. Just his special alone can just clear mobs out super easily. It does so much. I, I believe it does over 300,000 damage. It, it's, it's pretty ridiculous how much damage you get just from his special ability alone. But on top of that, it makes all type orbs, except blue orbs, and then tandem and recovery orbs beneficial for fighters and free spirit characters for the next three turns. And then after those three turns are up, it will bind and despair himself for seven turns. So this guy, when you use him, obviously basically gives you a full board of orbs for the next three turns for your fighter or free spirit characters. Does a lot of damage to one character. However, if you, you know, wait for those three turns to expire, then this guy becomes semi-useless. And that's why they release 6 plus Rayleigh. 6 plus Rayleigh's special ability will completely get rid of all of the negative debuffs on Gear 4 Luffy. So, you know, you can use uh, the 6 plus Rayleigh, who is also a fighter type unit. So he's really, really nice for Gear 4 teams if you want to take on Forest, where you have to use Gear 4 Luffy special uh, multiple times. Uh, you know, Rayleigh's really, really strong for that. But, uh, you know, a lot of people will ask which one's better, Gear 4 Luffy or time skip Luffy. It really does depend on what type of units you have. If you have a stacked free spirit team, you know, Max Invasion Shanks, 6 plus Sabo, all of those, you know, free to play free spirit characters like Kolo Kanjuro, Kolo uh, Kinemon, Raid Boa, if you have like a max, fully maxed uh, time skip Brook, if you have like the full free spirit squad, it's kind of hard to leave time skip Luffy and go to gear 4. But then again, if you do have all the Gear 4 units, I mean, the thing about Gear 4 is, is like, he's really limited to what he can use as a sub right now. Uh, the best sort of team for Gear 4 is a side dex hybrid team that uses the Time Skip Robin from the uh, from the Time Skip Straw Hats batch, who is a two times booster for dex and Psy. And you can use uh, Colo, Colo, what's his name? Colo Ideo. Colo Ideo, who's a two times all booster for fighter teams, and he's also a dex unit. So there's like really cool team combinations you can do with the dex and side teams for Gear 4. But in my personal opinion, on global, anyways, uh, the Free Spirit squads are. A little bit better and in my opinion I'm more of a time skip Luffy fanboy just because I really like that 15% passive damage reduction that the time skip Luffy gives but gear 4 Luffy he obviously gives you more matching orbs he does more damage on his special ability and when you do use his special he does give you significant damage reduction that's constant he gives you like close to 80% damage reduction when you use both gear 4 Luffy's and on top of that because that's his captain ability damage reduction you can then use other damage in the game abilities on top of that like Inti Vankov on top of the double gear fours you can just mitigate so much damage like you can get units under 20% and you can still tank hits it's quite ridiculous how good this gear four is but you don't get the passive damage reduction all the time and stalling on mobs you know they do a lot of damage so that can be a little bit of a hindrance but as I said before it really does come down to whether you have a really good free spirit squad or you have a really good fighter squad that's just my opinions guys you know it really just does come down on what to have uh, what you have in your character box overall one more minor thing to note about gear 4 luffy is the fact that he actually has a sailor ability that states it will completely resist paralysis on this character so if you are using this guy as a sub for whatever reason he will completely resist paralysis so it's not really a big deal because not too many times you're going to be using Gear 4 as a sub, but, you know, it is just kind of there. I don't know why Gear 4 was given this, but, you know, he has it. it it's there. It's there. So if Gear 4 is ever a sub, he completely resists paralysis, which is quite nice. It would have been better if it, like, resists paralysis on all your whole crew. That would be quite nice, but uh, on himself, it is quite fine, but it's just kind of there. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this breakdown of the Sugo Fest and Sanji and Gear 4. Hopefully you guys, you know, now have all the information and decide where whether or not you want to pull for these guys, you want to pull for gear 4, or you want to go ahead and save your gems for the new shift in meta that is about to occur with the release of the Lucy from the Coliseum and Vince Smoke Judge. In my opinion, it's better to save for Vince Smoke Judge and Lucy, but it, it really does depend if you want to get your hands on this guaranteed gear 4 or not, because guaranteed gear 4 is not going to happen ever again. So take it as you will. Do you want to spend those 300 gems and get them now, or do you want to go ahead and conserve them for the shift in meta that's about to occur. 
you know it really just does depend but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to smack the like button down below and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i will see you guys within the next video